Alright guys, what is up and how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I haven't filmed because I had nothing to film to be honest, but today a new package arrived. Check this out. A new soft top for the Miata. Glass window, heater, everything. I'll show you guys unpack that in a second, but just so you can see, look at my old soft top. It's like tears here. I tried to glue them like tears here. Let me just show you more tears right here like this whole glass has been like tearing off like you see that and i've been trying to fix it but like time to order a new a new top you know what i'm saying like this is not acceptable like it's been leaking like this like when i go to work in the morning the seat has been like wet because of the leaks and stuff and this is this is honestly just not cool but we got the bike right there but yeah the miata in the garage we got the new soft top and we're about to take on the challenge of changing this top so i've never changed a top or like seen or experienced anyone changing it i watched a bunch of videos but i'm honestly not sure how to do this no i know how to do this um but i've watched a bunch of videos and like some people keep the rail on some people keep the rail off this is not going to be like a tutorial of how to install one but i'm just going to kind of run you through the steps basically of what i'm doing yeah so basically what we have to do first i think is to unbolt all this um wind blocker stuff and then like take off these panels on the sides and then there's bolts that hold the frame and the rain rail and all that stuff so let's go ahead and do that but let me unpack this first and show you all right so here's a new top i got it for a freaking steel but the material is not exactly the same as the stock oem top but it's like pretty seems pretty durable and like pretty similar and then the glass glass window you see you have the heater stuff on it the heater core or whatever it's called um but yeah this is the old top and this stuff is like it's just ready to go there's tears on the sides there's tears everywhere i try to patch them up with like rubber sealant but this has been a long due maintenance that i've been putting off but yeah this thing is shot so let's go ahead and rip it even more Ugh. yeah let's not do that but what's it called but yeah let's go ahead and take this top off and then throw the new one on and start figuring stuff out i also got this rivet gun Cause you're supposed to like rivet it so i got this rivet gun for the rivet so nine ten bucks at harbor freight with the freaking rivets in it too so great steel all right let's go ahead and take this top off and then yeah let's start doing that it's gonna be a freaking project so let's get it so first what we're gonna have the top off now what we're gonna do first is you see this wind blocker mine has speakers installed into it as you can see right there kind of but I have to take off these two screws for the wind blocker and then whip that thing out so I have better access to the the back where the top is bolted on and the sides right here. All right, so the wind blocker is out. We can just slide that in. I have a bucket seating, which makes the soft top install a lot harder. But you know, we're just gonna like slide this thing out. Here, hold up. Just do that. This is gonna be freaking fun. All right, so the wind blocker is out. Now we have more space to work with. So now we're probably going to put the top back up and then get all the bolts back there that hold the rain rail and the top in place to the actual car. All right, guys, so check this out. So on both sides, I got these panels off the side. You just kind of unscrew this and you can like slide it out. There's a little pin right here. And then in the back, you just kind of like take the carpet shims off and you're exposed to all the screws in the back. And then you just take those off, take these off and the top should just pop off. So let's get it. And guys, when you're taking the top off, you're gonna take all the screws off the back. Make sure if you have a glass window, you like cut open this little pouch right here and you disconnect these connectors right here let me show you these connectors that's for like the heating part in the glass window in the back so make sure you cut it open and disconnect these before you take the top out okay so now that i got the side screws out and i got all the back screws out as you can see that hold the rain rail and the top end place and these that hold the freaking mounting thing i should just be able to Take off these, look right here, there's these rails. I should be able to just slide these rails off. Oh, I still got these little things on there. But yeah, these rails will just come off like that. Boom, as you can see. 
there's one big one in the middle on the NB. There's a side one. And then there's one more back here. And then after I take those off, I should just be able to peel the rain rail off of the body and slide everything out. That's the only thing pretty much holding the top in. So let me just take all this off and I'll show you. A good thing to do is just push on the back right here and you can see it separate from the screws. Boom, like that. You see that? The rain rail separates from the back. There you go. And then we'll just take the whole top off and it should just slide right off. Let's get it! All right guys, so we got the top out. Finally, this was a pain. As you can see, oh, this thing is freaking heavy. Ugh. Let's lay it out and show you. Ugh. All right, now there's no top in the Miata. She's looking fresh. These are the rails right here. That's what hold the top in. And then this is the fresh top. And this is the old one with the holes and all that stuff in it. But look at this. Rain rail looks like it's still intact, not cracked or anything. What's that tape? We're good. So, yeah, the rain rail, we just have to drill those rivets out right there. And then attach the rain rail to the new top, and then we could be able to put it in. But first, what you have to do is all these screws right here, we have to take off all the railing that holds the soft top in. There's some on the side too. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take all these look things that hold the soft top in and then start transferring them to the new top. So let's get it. So basically on this, we have to do is transfer the latches and then there's gonna be a couple like steel rails with screws along the side that hold that the top actually pinned in. Like right there. Like right there, as you could see, boom. And then there's a couple of rivets that do stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of like go through this and figure this out. And then of course we're going to drill out the rain rail and transfer it to that with the new rivet gun that I got. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> got the screwdriver. Let's start from the top and then move down. So real quick guys, there's going to be these rubber things, the gaskets. There's going to be two screws that hold them in. You're going to take those off. And then there's going to be this little rail right here with three screws. Then you're going to just take the screws off and slide this thing off. Make sure you keep everything like kind of organized and everything in place. And now you can like slowly start taking the top off. Same thing on this side. Take the rail off and like start sliding the top off. And there's going to be more of those I think going down. Basically after you get those off, what you're going to do that you're going to just peel all these rubber things off like that. And it's going to reveal all the other railings that you need to take off right there. And then these ones have little plastic pins in there before you take them off. So make sure you pop those out. So just make sure you unscrew all these rails and then you should be able to put a new top on. So let's get it. All right. So now all the railings that hold the soft top in and the rubber gaskets are off. As you can see right here. Pretty much all we have. Oh, truck, chill. Pretty much all we have left to do is just get these rivets and drill them out. Right here, right here. And I think there's a couple right here and then the rain rail. So we're gonna drill all those rivets out and the soft top should just come off and then we're gonna start forming the new soft top onto the frame. So let's go ahead and drill these rivets out and we'll keep going. So you're gonna just get a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than the diameter of the rivets. And then you're just gonna kinda start drilling all the rivets out. And they should pop out. And when you're done drilling the rivets out, it should kind of just like pop off like this. And you might still have like a little bit of the rivets left in. You can just hammer it that out the back and you should be good. So let's go ahead and like take all these rivets out. Let's take the rivets out of the rain rail and transfer it all into here. And then put that new top onto the new frame and kind of start fitting it up. Make sure you save these little washers 
so you can put them over like so you can put the rivet through them just so your rain rail stays more intact because those little holes it's gonna slip out all right so now that i drilled out all the rivets on the rain rail i should be able to just slide this rain rail right off the old top the rain rail looks like it's in good shape as you can see no cracks no anything so i'm just gonna go ahead and transfer it onto the new top and then i'm gonna start riveting it in so let's go all right guys so i got the old roof off as you can see it's off the freaking frame and then now we have the naked frame right here we have to align everything on the new soft top and then attach the rain rail with the rivets and then just put it onto here and then screw it back in so i'm gonna go ahead and rivet the rain rail i'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the frame and then we're gonna go ahead and do it but i have a light on me bro this has been a longer install than i thought but let's go all right guys what is up so it's two days later with the miata top i shaved my head i look freaking bald it's freaking hilarious but yeah so i finally got the thing onto the rail freaking all the rivets all like these little things like the like the cable like the tension cables that run through you have to rivet them in and rivet everything else in and just like fit everything it was just a pain so yeah now i just have the top in i want to show you what i did let me show you right here guys so i don't know if this is gonna work but just so this top would stay onto the rain rail let me show you here yeah i basically went around and zip tied it through all the holes and now i'm just pretty much lining up the rain rail with these bolts and i'm gonna put the frames on there but yeah so i recommend doing this actually just if you don't want to rivet because the rivets when i riveted the rain rail onto the top they kept popping out so i was like i have to figure something else out so i just literally put zip ties all the way through the holes through the top through the rain rail coming in and it kind of just holds it all in one piece let me just show you over here too make sure you line these up and then yeah just make sure the rain rail is tucked under this like rubber lip right here and yeah just start aligning it as you can see the zip ties are like holding it in the top all around you see and now i just have to fit it all into place make sure like you tuck everything properly on this side as well so that you have no leaks and then yeah let's slowly get to it and then i'm gonna throw i think you put the center frame on on the inside first and then you put the side ones on. So let's go ahead and do that and let's get this top finally installed. Also when installing this, you can just peel this carpet back so you can get full access to the rain rail on the top. And then when you're sliding this thing, especially if you have a freaking cage in here, you're gonna have to open the top to slide this freaking rail in the back because it doesn't fit through the cage. So we're gonna have that up there and then we're gonna line up all these bolt holes and then slide the rail over that just like that and then put the bolts in so that's going to be a little hassle i'm going to go ahead and get all these bolts in and then we'll try to start closing the top and putting all the gaskets back in so yeah from all the videos i've watched everyone says this is the painfulest part so we, we're gonna have to put the center piece in i have the top like not all the way down because you don't want it like stretching and pulling too much and like putting a bunch of pressure on this on like on the, where the bolt holes and stuff are gonna be so what i'm gonna do is just kind of try to get all those holes lined up and then put this metal thing and try to put the metal thing on there and try to start feeding the bolts in and tightening them up so let's go ahead and start with the middle part and then we're gonna move on to the other two sides okay after messing around with this rail for like forever i'm honestly not gonna worry about it right now what i'm gonna do is just until the top actually gets like more stretched out and gets like shaped into like into correct into like its form i'm literally going to just take these screws put them all over this stuff all right guys what is up so it's the, like the third or something or fourth day of me like little by little installing this thing but basically what i did yesterday was i couldn't so just so the because the top was like really stiff so what i did yesterday was i just without the rain rail i just tightened down like most of the bolts just to kind of press it against it and kind of 
so it shapes itself, stretches out a little bit. But today I figured out, let me turn this light off real quick. But basically if you check this out, there's a certain like weight you're supposed to tighten these bolts. Start from the edges, one, two, three, four, five. So as you can see right there. So we're gonna go ahead and undo all those bolts that we have on there right now. Hopefully this thing stays in place, but we're gonna undo the bolts. And then we're gonna throw the, try to throw these metal brackets on. There's one center one, there's two side ones like this. So we're gonna start off with the bolt all the way in there and then go one, two, three, four, five, and just kind of keep following this diagram. So let's go ahead and hopefully we can get the top on. I already started putting the rubber gaskets in on the side and it's gonna be easier when I open it a little bit. When you're doing the, ra the rail, the top should be open a little bit so you have a little more room on these sides. So you have extra, so you have kind of more material to like, these two holes are going to be the hardest to probably get the bolts on. I don't know yet. We'll see. But let's go ahead and follow that diagram that we have there. And hopefully we can get this freaking roof on today because I'm done with this. But it looks fresh, guys. Look at this thing. It looks pretty good. Pretty good quality. Glass window. Heated glass window. So let's get it. Okay, so I ha I pretty much have everything in. I had to take the seat out because I really could not get to the other side but of the rain rail, but I put all the rubber gaskets on. I attached everything, the roof. I still have to adjust right here. You, you remove this little plastic clip or somewhere, there we go. And then you adjust that, this bolt right here, just so your top is able to close. Just give it some like more room, but we're gonna go ahead and do that in a sec. But as you can see the top, doesn't close all the way it's super tight and then let's see let me just show you back here i haven't put everything yet back yet but as you can see all the bolts are in that was the hardest part of the whole install i have to say getting this rail lined up and i'm missing a bolt right there because i lost it so i gotta go pick one up but other than that i'll just leave this like this let the top stretch out a little bit and it's gonna be easy to like Put everything in place because I also need to put these strings right here that come off the frame over there with the rivets. It's supposed to go to the third bolt on each side. So one, two, three. So when the top is going to be down, when it stretches out a little more, I'm going to probably get a washer or something and attach it right there. So this keeps this piece more back and has it makes the top like open better out on the outside let me show you so when the, that strap is just gonna kind of push this third thing out right here just to tension the top a little more but other than that when we're fully when we fully close it the top looks looks great like it's freaking tight like way better than the old one was the old one was messed up we're gonna have to like See if all these little wrinkles are gonna are gonna dip when everything's hooked up. But other than that, the top looks freaking sick. Now all I have to do is just put my seat in and yeah, just adjust those screws, latch it up, and kind of drive it around for like a week, let it kind of form into shape, and then get all the rest of the bolts in and just kind of tidy everything up. But other than that. I vacuumed everything up, I cleaned everything up, so other than that, let's just throw the seat in and the top should be done. I'll keep you guys updated as I do this. Alright, it's like midnight on like the third or something day of doing the install, but boom. The top is finally done. She's pretty much 98% in there. I just need to do a few tiny little things like attach the straps to the, to the third screw and then that's it, but... Other than that, guys, check this fresh baby out. Like, it just needs to, like, we need to, like, get those little wrinkles out and everything. But other than that, this thing looks freaking fresh. And look how, like, listen to this. This thing is freaking solid. It's, like, stretched. So we're going to have, we're going to wait, give it, like, a week, not open it, let it heat up in the sun and stuff. And this top should be mint. Last, I'm gonna tent this window too because we love our tent, you know. 
tint the windshield a little bit maybe. I don't know, we'll see, but compared to what we had, bro, this old disgusting ripped top, like look at that. That's what we had, and then that's what we got now. Fresh as can be. Literally the worst install I've ever done on this car, or like any car, the most like, especially with the roll cage harness bars, I had to take the bucket seat out, but worst install ever, but much worth it. Alright guys, what is up? So it's been like over a month since I last filmed the beginning of this video, but if you guys want to see, basically the roof is on. So the reason I couldn't finish the install is because, as you can see, these thingies right here that hook up to like the third bolt of the rain rail were giving me issues because as you can see right now the material was super tight and I had to give it like a month and it was super cold so I had to give it like a month to like soften up and kind of stretch out and there was no sun so now there's sun so I like pushed this bar all the way back and was it left in the sun for like a couple hours and was able to bolt these straps in so now I just need to like put all the little, put, put the carpet back up. I need to just, now I just have to just attach all the carpet and put the wind blocker on. But other than that, I'm just going to show you the finished product. Like, look at that. No wrinkles. This thing is tight as hell. And I think it looks freaking insane, but... That, that last bar with the straps, you have to do it in order for there not to be wrinkles right here. So now the top looks on point. So it, so the top was the most pain in the butt install, but I got it done. And if you guys are thinking about doing it, just do the research, watch the videos, and it's not that hard, but peace out. Hope you guys like the video and peace out. So we call it royalty.